Hi Taurus, welcome to your TGIF love reading. It's timeless. It's whenever you see the picture of the cards that come out and the title um, that you're drawn to it, that you feel like it's re you know that it resonates with you. For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The link to my Etsy shop is down below. There are many readings that I do offer. It's actually going to go on vacation mode until like the 6th or 7th. So I can get caught up on readings on the summer sale that Etsy just had. Um, it actually ends tonight, the sale. For those of you that are new, please subscribe and leave a message or like the video. I pull in your energy before every video when I meditate and I can bring more personal messages to you in future readings. All right, this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Spirit. Always take what resonates and then head over and watch your Rising, Moon, and Venus sign for additional messages. It's not always going to resonate for every Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Passion and desire. Wonderful. Bury myself in work to forget you came out, but it didn't flip over. Oh, and I know I was a distraction from your pain. So for some of you, this may resonate, but they didn't flip over. I bury myself in work to forget you, and I know I was a distraction from your pain. The ones that did flip over, I don't react when people mention you, and I want you. There is a strong desire here, Taurus. A strong desire to be with you. And it's hard for them when people bring up bring your name up. It's like they probably just walk away, you know, to be out of sight from everyone. energy it's like sin since the ending you're stuck between a rock and a hard place it's you probably think about reaching out but you don't know how you know you're gonna how they're gonna receive your communication I don't f I feel like you don't want to make a decision on it you're probably just you know closed off to it their energy they could be an air sign but it's like mind over matter I feel like initially they were very stubborn, um, like I said, out of sight, out of mind. But now I feel with these popping out, it's they know the connection. They know what they feel for you. And now they know who they want in their life. They've got they've gotten mentally grounded. The this is the mutual energy, the eight of swords. So you're both, you both haven't moved on. You feel both like you have the illusion of self, like you're you're trapped, like you're stuck, self imprisonment. The current situation, both of you very well could have tried dating, moving on. Some of you could be, you know, dating someone currently, but it's. Many responsibilities, many choices, many offers. But there's always that one cup that's glowing. And it's always going to be for one another. The advice. The Spirit saying, stay silent. Let them come to you. Keep your feelings to yourself. And the overall outcome, the ace of coins, the offer, the stability, the brand new beginning. 
definitely could be an air sign, it could be a Libra, but bringing balance into this connection. I feel like they're watching you and I feel like the connection is going to come in very soon from the time you see this video, this reading, but th there's going to be balance and fairness on both your parts. Yep, they're returning. They've got so many fond memories with you and it could be divinely guided. This could be a fated partner. All right, let's see what else. Spirit, please come and give me more clarity for Taurus and this person. For Taurus and this person. Tower moment. <clears throat> so it could have been a tower moment. <coughs> Sorry. It could have been a tower moment when it ended. It could have been like you know, things were going very well, and then there was a disagreement, and basically. You both go in silent treatment and it completely ended. But it also could be a tower moment that it's coming back around. And it's when you're going to be least, when you least expect it. Four of Swords. See, with them showing up in the air energy, I feel like they have. They've taken a break um, since this ending. And they did some soul searching. That's when the clarity came. That's when they realized that they wanted to reach out and communicate. All right, Spirit, what else? For Taurus and this person. Okay. Look at that. You could very well um, meet them, you know, reconnect in the fall, like end of August, beginning of September. Um... You could have a child, they could have a child, but see the butterflies? It's like a transformation, the happiest card of the deck. It, that's what's gonna feel like when the two of you start to contact one another again, come in com communication. I feel like you're both gonna humble yourselves and be open to it. All right, let's see. Hermit. Again, the soul searching, all these cards flop. We're going to go with the one that, the devil. Soul searching and, and getting out of that negative energy. It could have been a runner and chaser kind of connection last time. Or one of you was codependent on the other. See, but passion and desire could be the devil too. It's like that connection you feel with one another even when you're not together. All right, what else for Taurus and the person spirit? All right, wow. All the manifesting in your thoughts, in your feelings, you could possibly be doing this subconsciously on both your parts. You're drawing each other in. The Wheel of Fortune, yeah, this is dust. This is faded. Because wasn't the Wheel of Fortune in here? Yeah, this is fated. Divinely guided, Taurus. And they're going to come in and give you that apology. They want long term with you. Wow, the lovers. They feel that strong connection with you. And they're coming in grounded. Not only are they coming in grounded, but mentally stable. So they could be an air sign with Earth in their chart, but they feel this connection. I feel like you do too. And they want higher level of commitment with you. All right, spirit. For Taurus, anything else to bring clarity? Sun, moon, rising, Venus. They might call you and ask you or send you a text to grab a cup of coffee. Meeting and conversating. Feeling uplifted when you get this communication. 
in that four of swords energy that was the healing energy Anything in the spirit. all right and there's the abundance attitude is gratitude being very um happy with your mindset um it's just going to draw the two of you in closer to one another. See, there is. You guys are both watching each other. Could be keeping tabs on social media. Competition. The other woman. You know what I get with this? There could be a family member in your energy or a friend in your energy or their energy that just gives negative advice when it comes to the two of you being together. It could be a friend that's jealous of the time that that your person spent with you and vice versa. Your friend, you know, it's that kind of energy, not really cheating. Just somebody in the energy that's not happy with the connection. And look at that. So you guys could very well come together like that higher level commitment and get engaged or move in together. But it's the union coming together. Maybe you could have been engaged and there was falling out. But it's going to bring balance to both your lives and be, bring happiness. It's like you're the sunshine in each other's life. All right, Taurus, let me know how it resonates. Um, I will be back for many more readings. Have a great rest of your weekend and love and light.